Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm TK Brew, and this is. I'm Dory, and my gamer tag is Acapella Brew. And we're going to be talking about all the beginner stuff you need to know if you're just starting in Brawl Stars, how to progress the fastest, and how to do basically everything that you'll need to know at the very beginner level. So stay tuned. So the first thing you need to do is the tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to move, fire, and uh, use your supers. Run that. We'll get there. And once you're finished the tutorial, you're going to enter in your your gamer tag, whatever you want it to be. Obviously, this is acapella brew. And then, spaces. okay, yeah, your spaces are totally fine. Now, if you just finished the tutorial and you don't like the controls, you can actually go up to the top right of the menu, and then you're going to click settings, and then at the other right, you'll see edit controls. Inside here, you can move the joysticks around. You can actually swap them to the other side. So if you're left-handed and you prefer to uh, shoot with your left and move with your right, you can actually swap the controls if you want. So if you're lefty or you just like the controls the other way, you can do that here. And once you're done, you click save and then test them out, but, or you can just click exit. So the main purpose of Brawl Stars is actually to battle other people and get all the trophies. The more trophies you get, uh, the more things you unlock along the trophy road. Uh, at 10 trophies, you unlock Nita, and along the road you get free boxes, more brawlers, um, unlock more events. So the idea is to get more brawlers, because the more brawlers you get, the more trophies you have to unlock. Uh, each brawler can get as many trophies as they want. Um, season Every season it resets. If your brawler's above 500 trophies, it will knock it back down to 525. Um, but there is a trick at the very start of the game to get as to get an extra brawler for free without even opening up a brawl box. Brawl boxes are the way you get uh, power points to power them up, uh, coins, uh, supers, and gadgets, and everything else to power up your brawlers are all through brawl boxes. But you can get a free brawler right off the start by going up to the home button and then going to uh, supercell ID. And once you set up your Supercell ID, it will give you a free Barley skin. And the only way to get access to that skin is if you actually have the Brawler. So once you set that all up, you'll get a free Barley skin, you'll get a free Barley. And then, once you hit 100 trophies, as you're always guaranteed to get a rare Brawler, you'll either get one of the other two rare Brawlers, which gives you a good bonus to getting that extra Brawler and progressing even faster down Trophy Road. And here we go, our very first game. I haven't played on an iPad in forever, so... <laughs> it's gonna be huge, it's gonna be laggy, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So you're gonna be seeing uh, Acapella Brew's screen, and you should be able to see mine from the, the hand cam right now. Good news is none of these brawlers are probably real people. So at the very start, they just like they love just to give you as much chance of winning as possible by just giving you easy bots to play against. Let's go. Watch out. Oh, I died. All good. Yeah, this is fairly simple. Except these aren't exactly like the most amazing brawlers to go up against right now. I'm just trying not to kill you right now. You actually can't shoot your own friends, so that's a something good to know. You can't hurt your own team, so if you accidentally shoot them, that is okay. You actually shoot through them. Watch out for the train. <laughs> Alright. Did I die again from hitting the train? You can die for the other train does a lot of damage to you. There we go. First game under our belt, and I'm hoping that should actually unlock all the menus. We should hopefully be able to show you where the brawl are the the free brawler, hopefully. You can exit back out. And yep, there we go. Now you're gonna go up at the top right, 
you're going to then click on your inbox. You're going to click claim the barley skin and this should give you a free brawler, barley. So now you've you've played one game, you've already unlocked a brawler and you get a free skin with it. So now you have two brawlers to play with right off the start and you don't have to open up any brawl boxes. My suggestion for you is not to open up any of your brawl boxes until you hit 100. Once you hit 100 trophies, then open up your first brawl box because you're guaranteed to pull out a rare brawler. Either you're going to get an El Primo or you're going to get Poco now from your first brawl box opening after 100 trophies. So just save those and you'll be getting lots of uh, you'll be getting lots of brawlers along Trophy Road at 10. At 10 you unlock Nita. At 60 you unlock Colt. And at 250 you unlock Bull. So by the time you hit 100 you'll have uh, a few brawlers to play with. And then at this point you're probably noticing that you have a shop with a free item in it. So you're going to want to open up your shop. You want to go collect that free item. It could be a free brawl box. It could be free PowerPoint. It could be free coins. Um, but you're going to open up your first box. It's going to be free. So easy 15 coins and power points for probably one of the two brawlers you get. Uh, 22 points for Shelly. So now you can go back to Shelly and level her up to level one. Um, inside her uh, brawler spot but before we get there i want to talk about everything you're going to want to find inside the brawl boxes so if you go over to big boxes and you click the information it'll tell you exactly the percentage chance you'll have to pull specific brawlers must remember 100 trophies you're guaranteed to pull a rare brawler but right now you're looking at a 2.7 percent chance of pulling a rare brawler a 1.2 uh, chance of pulling a super 0.5 for an uh, epic 0.25 for a mythic legendaries are 0 0.1 um, star powers and gadgets will get percentages once you get brawlers up to those spots once you get to a brawler to, uh, level 7 you can now pull gadgets from brawl boxes and once you get uh, to level 9 you can actually pull star powers and for the free to play players out there uh, the trophy road or sorry not the trophy road the brawl pass will have free bottom row uh, boxes for you to open um, every time you finish um, a battle uh, for up to 200 tokens um, every 20 or sorry every two hours you get 20 tokens um, or if you finish quests um, specific quests will have um, will have different things for you yours is locked <laughs> um, I, uh, specific quests will also uh, give you some tokens and the more tokens you get the more rewards you get along the trophy road um, so you'll get free brawl boxes, big brawl boxes, mega brawl boxes, you'll get uh, uh, gems, I believe it's 90, 90 gems you'll get along the trophy road. Um, so you want to save all those brawl boxes, like I said, until you hit uh, up to uh, 100 trophies, because that's the best way to make sure you get that rare brawler right off the start. So should I be saving this big box? Yeah, okay. save it for now. The, the, the big thing is uh, we're, you're playing against very low people or in this case sometimes at the start it's going to be bots. Your power level is not going to mean anything until you start getting up into the higher trophy ranges where damage can play a part. So not opening up any of your brawl boxes right now isn't going to affect you one way or another. Um, but if you save them up to 100, like I said, you're guaranteed to pull a rare at 100. So once you pull that brawler, now you can also pull power points for that brawler. So the more brawlers you have open, the more power points you can get for all of them. It's just a simple way to vastly progress and max out some of your brawlers. So at this point, if you have enough power points to upgrade a brawler, you would either go to brawlers or click on those center brawler if you want. Uh, click on whatever brawler you have to level up. It will cost a certain number of power points and a certain number of coins to do so. Uh, once you click on it, it will tell you how much of a bump of damage, health, um, to its super, its regular shot, and its health. It will show you all what's going to happen when you level it up. So then you just click level up, and it will level up for you, which is kind of cool. Now, if you want to try out a brawler because you've never used it before, you don't have any clue on how its attacks work, um, or just you just want to learn how they play a little better, any of the brawlers that are on here, all 39 of them, you can actually try out. You can't play with them in the middle of a game, but say uh, you for some reason you keep losing to Franks and you want to try Frank or another brawler, you can actually click on them and then click try and it will take you to uh, Star, the Star Park uh, trial thing and it will allow you to 
attack robots that won't only one of them will actually attack you back you can attack them it will power up your super it will show you how they attack how slow they are and then from in here you can just test out any single brawler you want to try out um, what it does what it super does um, unfortunately you're not gonna be able to try out uh, gadgets or star powers unless you have those unlocked so right now you're just gonna be able to try out the brawler and how they attack and how, the, how their super works all right, seeing as Shelly is your very first brawler you're going to get, you're probably going to be playing with her a lot. Now, there's um, a few things you need to know. Shelly does most of her damage, looks like all of her damage, at very close ranges to brawlers. So being like a couple tiles away, she's going to be start doing a lot of damage. But if you try to go farther away to take shots at her, you'll notice that she doesn't do as much damage because she's only hitting with a couple of pellets. She does a, actually a spray of pellets, the closer you are, the more likely more of them are going to hit. Um, so that's a good thing to look out for. Um, the next thing you want to know is um, your super. You can actually chain Shelly's Shelly's super to fire it more than once. You can fire it and then fire it again. Um, the trick is you have to get enough brawlers standing in a row and hit them with the, the super. Um, so at the very top, we're going to show you how to chain your supers. Okay, so what chaining looks like is you're going to fire your super into a big group um, and you'll notice that your super will recharge instantly. It's not going to have to wait for you to fire more shots. It automatically recharges. So you can chain your supers inside of Brawl Stars. It's really good with Shelly. Shelly's been known for chaining a lot of her supers. And then the last thing you really want to know about basically any brawler um, is you always want to aim where the brawler is going to be and not where they are because if they're moving around um, if you're aiming where they are then you're aiming behind them um, and you're not going to be able to hit them so you want to aim right in front of them so yeah. like if that guy was running i'd aim here correct so he would run basically into your shot okay. uh, the last thing is longer brawlers like uh, piper um, uh, all that and any of the, the brawlers that have long range shots you're not going to want to auto fire which is just tapping on the red button because it's going to shoot where they are and not where they're going uh shelly bull daryl all the closer range brawlers or if you're really close to anybody tapping your shot it's going to work out really well um but auto fire doesn't work once you get up to higher levels when everyone's trying to dodge and stay out of your out of your range and move around so you want to get really good at aiming your shots and not just using the auto fire Okay, and now to put it all together, we're going to play one game of a Brawl Ball for you guys. Okay, here we go. Two Nitas and a El Primo. At least we have a more balanced team right now. Uh, oh, yeah. But I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, moving and running at the same time does. Moving and firing does take some getting used to. Where's the ball? Oh, the El Primo has. So it's like soccer, but you have to shoot people when they have the ball. Well, you can shoot at them when they don't have the ball. The idea is you want to try to remove them all from the game, so it's easier to get a goal. Am I the goalie right now? No, there is no goalie. Okay. Oh, don't waste your super. Oh. Okay. While we're here, you can actually unshoot, unchoose your super if you want, putting it back on top of the circle. So if you hold it out and you're firing it, if you put it right back on top of the circle, um, you can unselect your, unselect your super if you want. Still love how it shows me to how to play the game at the top. Drag the red controller to shoot the ball. All good. Okay, so these people aren't the. Uh... Not the hardest to go up against right now. Yeah, so if you have the ball and you're trying to shoot but you don't want to shoot anymore, if you just drag it back on top of your super, you'll unselect it and then um, you'll be able to reselect it again right after. Oh, bear. 
Okay, thank you for running away from the ball. And it goes to two if you ever play Brawl Ball. And that's it. Hopefully that should give you everything you need to know about uh, Brawl Stars to uh, get quickly progressing, maxing out your Brawlers as fast as you can, and basic controls to uh, get, get started. Thank you everybody who tuned into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about what happened or other questions about Brawl Stars in general, you can leave those down in the comments down below. I always try to answer everybody's comment. Thank you for everything. Um, and I'll catch you guys all later. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.